Like many other people, I'm a big fan of Ben Shapiro. One of the things that's great about Ben is that he's willing to say things that people really don't want to hear. For example, on one of his most recent shows, he said something that a lot of new media people won't admit. I'm going to say something that's very unpopular in right-wing media to say, but this is true, okay? Here is the fact. The New York Times and the Washington Post, these newspapers that we think are wildly biased and to the left and we hate, they are biased. They are to the left. If they were not expending hundreds of millions of dollars on reporters, the news business would be significantly poorer. The fact is that sites like mine over at Daily Wire, okay, we're a vastly growing website. We have something like 65 million page views in the last month and 16 million unique visitors. We're a very, very large website. Okay, we rely on the reporting of other sites in order for us to supplement our own commentary. One of the most controversial positions I have is that traditional media is far better than new media. We can debate that, but something that we cannot debate is the fact that traditional media does far more heavy lifting insofar as actual reporting goes. The established press still devotes far more resources to actual journalism, whereas new media is largely derivative and does almost no original reporting. The best example of this dichotomy is the Young Turks election night coverages. It's literally them sitting there refreshing the New York Times election night webpage. You look at Georgia and, and Hillary Clinton, 23% uh, reporting, and Trump up 328,000 votes, 63 to 35. They haven't called it yet. Now, I'm not disparaging derivative content per se. That would be enormously self-defeating. But there is a problem of economics here. Journalism costs money and traditional media outlets are far more likely than new media to have the resources to fund it and are far more willing to devote them to that purpose. For example, how has CNN covered the civil war in Syria? They are there with camera crews, giving us information in real time. Compare this to Kyle Kalinske, who literally covers it from his bedroom. <sighs> President Trump just attacked Syria. Yep. There are some excellent independent and new media journalists out there, doing some excellent reporting. But there doesn't appear to be a sustainable model to deliver all the news that we want. Consider this. It took the Young Turks 15 years to hire their first reporter. 15 years of regurgitating other people's reporting until they were finally able to do some of their own. I can't imagine this model can be replicated easily. All of this could be forgiven, except for the fact that most new media personalities that I watch seem to think that traditional press is superfluous and should be discarded with. And this is why I admire Ben Shapiro so much. As a new media personality, it would be incredibly advantageous and self-serving for him to convince his audience that only the Daily Wire can be trusted for information. But he didn't. He gave the press its due. Compare this to other new media personalities, who don't acknowledge any redeeming qualities in traditional press and are glad to bite the hand that feeds. Are you as satisfied as I am that mainstream media is crumbling? Because I'm pretty thrilled. It's perfectly fine to be critical of the press. We all know they deserve it. But we need to be fair, too. The original reporting that old media does is not only important for our country, it is important for the survival of new media. And new media personalities who want to see old media destroyed are parasites wishing for the death of the host.